Welcome to the Clippers My Life channel, where we bring you the latest updates on the Los Angeles Clippers. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments where you're watching from. The Los Angeles Clippers find themselves at a critical juncture as their partnership between Kawhi Leonard and Paul George enters its fifth year. Despite displaying their playoff potential when healthy, the Clippers have struggled with injuries throughout their tenure, hindering their progress in the postseason. However, the front office seems committed to keeping the duo intact until the team moves to the Intuit Dome in 2024, aiming to establish a strong foundation in their new home. With Leonard now 31 and George 33, the Clippers will soon face the inevitable passing of the torch to the next generation. However, their ability to acquire young talent through the NBA draft is limited due to the absence of several first-round picks from the 2019 Paul George trade. The Clippers won't control their first-round selection until 2027, making the few picks they do possess crucial to their future success. In the upcoming 2023 NBA draft, the Clippers hold the 30th and 48th overall picks. Given the uncertainties surrounding the draft class, there is an opportunity for the team to unearth hidden gems late in the process. It may be beneficial for the Clippers to target a prospect who was once highly regarded but experienced a decline in stock, especially if they use one of their picks on a more NBA-ready player. One draft sleeper prospect that could fit the Clippers' needs is Emony Bates. The team's recent draft strategies have included selecting both older and younger players, but given the new collective bargaining agreement rules, it might be wise to focus on prospects who can contribute immediately without a significant learning curve. While asking a late first-round or second-round pick to make an immediate impact is challenging, the Clippers' strong development infrastructure and experienced locker room could provide an ideal environment for Bates to thrive. Bates, once considered a generational prospect, has seen his stock drop considerably. However, his skill set as a 6 feet 8 inches forward who can handle the ball and attack the rim remains intriguing. While he lacks explosiveness and has a slightly shorter wingspan than desired, the Clippers' array of talented wings could mentor him and help him overcome his limitations. With players like Terrence Mann, Amir Coffey, and Brandon Boston Jr. already contributing to the team, Bates could quickly develop into a valuable asset for the Clippers, providing much-needed scoring in the absence of their stars. While Bates may no longer be seen as a future superstar, his ability to put the ball in the hoop could be a valuable addition to a Clippers team that has grown accustomed to playing without their star players for extended periods. The opportunity to learn from experienced teammates and be part of a well-established development system could rejuvenate Bates' career and provide the Clippers with a valuable contributor as they navigate the challenges of an aging roster.